We've got a bunch of them uh, joining us right here now. Uh, Sean Snow, head coach, and a bunch of Lady Warriors. Let's let's send it out there to Ontario. What's going on, ladies? Hey, <laughs> hey nice to see you guys. Uh, what's going on in practice out there? Did, did you guys, since it's uh, it's nice out after the Easter weekend, did, did you take it a little bit easy, or are you guys dialed in? What, what's going on? No, we're dialed in. We got a big game tomorrow. <laughs> We ran Always pulls. Dialed in. Always <laughs> dialed in, yeah, for we sure. We just did hitting a defense. We worked on everything. All right, Sean, uh, I'm going to let you start here. Uh, kind of describe the attitude of this team to me. You basically welcome everybody back from a season ago when you were MOAC champions. Do you feel like they're more businesslike, or is this kind of a fun-loving group that knows when to turn it on when they need to? Well, I don't want to show my soft side, but as you can see, I have microphones on me. Um, I think this group is getting along really well. We do not have a soft schedule. You know, so mm -hmm. to look at us being 4-3 right now, we haven't lost any slouches for sure. We just have to figure out the windows close games right now. Um, they're very tight-knit. They're still getting along, as you can see. And, um, you know, our expectations are high for sure. And, um, you know, I think we're going to hopefully come out – Ready to, you know, guns a blazing tomorrow with Clear Fork. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Yeah, it looks like a, a whole roster trying to take my job, Hayden's job, Travis's job. They, they all got the microphone hold down, so I can appreciate that. And I know Travis has been really impressed with the non conference schedule that you've put together, Coach. Yeah, Coach, I mean, you played Madison in that, that tough game, Hillsdale as well. You have Triway on your schedule, the Wendy's Classic. Uh, just how important is it, not only through the MOAC where you have a couple teams at the top that you can compete with but to have that good competition in the non-conference to get you guys ready for possibly a tournament run maybe through district into a regional uh you know it's very important i think playing good teams great teams you know uh, hillsdale definitely i mean they showed us you know we did have a bad night for sure but uh you don't you can't have bad nights against teams like that but they're you know those games make you better and um you know like i said we have to figure out how to win these games and uh, unfortunately, we did find out today Triway had to cancel for Saturday uh, because they have to make up a league game. So we're trying to find a game for Saturday right now, unfortunately. Uh, describe the personality of this team to me, Coach. It looks like there's a lot of smiles. Obviously, you got a fun, loving group. Uh, do, do you try to, like, shape that a little bit? Or does the personality of the team, does that, does that have to be completely organic how it comes together? I think it's a combination of everything. You know, I think, uh, you know, I always crack the joke when you are, uh, when you're a girl softball coach, you're more of a psych <laughs> psychiatrist slash lineup manager. You know, these girls know how to play ball. They didn't come to us needing develop. I mean, these girls know how to play. So I think I'm um, just trying to keep the atmosphere and, you know, make these girls a, a group of sisters, you know, and then learning to play together. That's our goal. <laughs> yeah, let's hear from some of these seniors out here. I know you, you got like your pitcher back, you got your catcher back. Uh, what, what were the expectations that you guys were talking about heading into the season? What what metrics are you trying to meet to make sure that this is the type of year that you're expecting it to be? Um, we just gotta like keep our emotions cool and make sure you know we we lead by example and we just come to practice, work hard every day and. You know, we're serious when it's time to be serious, but we can still have fun while playing the game. So, pretty much. Jocelyn? Oh, yeah. Taylor? <laughs> Taylor? Yeah, Taylor? I mean, just as Kylie said, you know, we're coming out having fun every day, knowing when we need to turn on the switch and win games and come out strong and play hard. Alex? When you will I agree with you. When you welcome back as much talent as you guys have, do, do you feel like, yeah, and now I got someone holding the microphone for me. This is great. You guys have really started a trend out here. Do you feel a little bit of added pressure? And if you do feel that, is, is that more of an exciting thing for you girls heading into each game, knowing that there's a little bit of a target on your back as a defending champs? Um, yeah, there's a lot of pressure on us. I mean, we have to step up and play our game. Um, but we also just have to remind ourselves it is a game of mistakes and failures, and we just got to, you know, persevere through all of that. And uh, we're glad. I told her that word, Brian. <laughs> we're, glad, Big we're one. glad people are coming at us because we wouldn't want anyone to give us not their 100%. So, yeah, that's it. Taylor? Just Kylie said, everyone's giving us their 100%, so we're going to give them 100%. And 
just every game is going to be a competition, and we we live for competition. Oh, I like that everyone's coming out with us for our their one hundred percent because then it teaches us to play one hundred percent too. Yeah. Do you feel like you learned great lessons early on in the season playing top competition and getting beat by teams like Hillsdale in the fashion that you do? And if so, what what can you learn and benefit from when you have games like that? Um, yeah, I mean, we, we do learn from it. I'm sorry. I'm trying to remember every question you asked. <laughs> because you asked yeah. a lot. It's like, yeah. But uh, we do learn a lot. I mean, it sucks losing to these good teams because you want to you wanna beat these good teams. But, you know, when we're losing by one run uh, to all these great teams, state, regionals, they go pretty far in the tournament. So, I mean, we just got to learn to, you know, have confidence you know, trust each other and continue to play hard every time. Okay. Do you remember the last half of that question? We just need to learn from our mistakes. <laughs> yeah, just, just learn. learn I think we just, up. I think we learn where we need to and in those games we find our holes, we find our weaknesses, and we just persevere each game and learn from them. Look at us. Look at us. We just need to get that last run. We have great academics here too, if you can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Clear, clearly, there's a lot of honor students in the group. This is great yes. to hear from you all. Yeah, yeah. pretty sad thing is their GPA is higher than mine ever was. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Coach. Uh, so, obviously, trying to defend the title this year. What's it going to take, though? I know we've been even jumping a little ahead and thinking about tournament, but in 2023, what do the Ontario Lady Warriors need to do to take home a MOAC, knowing that right now, um, towards the top there, you got some tough competition with teams such as River Valley um, and Shelby. What do you <laughs> ladies need to do uh, to make sure that you're going to put yourself in a good position? Let you answer that, Edie. What do we need to do? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, okay, Trista? Okay, what we need to stay away from errors and just learn from our mistakes that we need to have yeah. confidence. What do we need to do to win the moment? Oh, Trista has oh. something. Trista, oh, has something. Trista. Trista. We definitely need to not get ahead of ourselves, not be expecting a win. We need to work for it and work each and every day for it and know that we need to work hard yeah. and continue to work hard. Not take anyone lightly. We need to play with some swagger. We got to be confident yeah. and act yeah. like yeah. we own this field. Have that confidence. Bust and, yeah, bust open that can. <laughs> <laughs> we cannot be too cocky. We need to be juiced before every single game. Yeah. Yeah. Most Anybody? importantly, Liv? play with the swagger. Come on, Liv, play, with the swagger. Swagger. play with the swagger. Yep. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, a lot of swagger. You got to come out confident, but not too confident. I want to hear about some of the right. rituals of the team real quick. Who would you say has some interesting <laughs> pregame traditions or maybe in the dugout during the game? Oh, Anybody? Uh, get our telescope. We have a telescope. Oh, made out of McDonald's. We like, to, we like to copy our baseball team at a lot of the cheers that they do when it comes to, you know, getting back at the base. Yo, you know, no. Back. Get back. back. <laughs> or if they throw a high pitch, you gotta say, somebody get her a bucket. Cause she's <laughs> That's a classic. Yeah. There you go. It's the same stuff. Yeah, I mean, you know, this game is a game of superstition for sure. So they love, I mean, anything pre-game-wise, I mean, we do it as a team, I think, more than anything. So, um, you know. Yeah. And we also got our telescope. There's our telescope out of McDonald's cups. I don't know why. That started the first scrimmage. There you go. Yeah, radar guns, all of that. Yeah. Now, when you're looking through the telescope there, what, what, what typically, what are you looking for? Are you checking out the pitcher? Are you looking at the batter's box? What are you dialing in on? Oh, that ball that's gone. Oh, yeah. Man. The ball that went over like 300, 300 feet. Yeah. Is there any, is there any particular team snack that you guys always keep in the dugout? Nerds, yeah. gummy clusters. Yeah. And a lot of seeds. There's yeah. a lot of seeds on this yeah. team, too. Yeah. <laughs> Still pickled. That's Ew, it. Ew, not very <laughs> Very nice. All right, guys. Uh, We've taken up way too much of your time. We appreciate you joining us. If you can give us, like, a quick cheer or, like, a rally cry that you typically would have in the dugout to, to send us off, get, give us your fave. What is it? One. Like, let's, say, let's take this up here. Yeah, give us a second. Uh, not do that one. <laughs> uh, I don't know. You guys tell us. 
rally cars. These girls have so many different things, but sometimes I wonder where they come from. So <laughs> well, I tell you what, you, you ladies, you got us all jacked up for the rest of the show, so we appreciate you rallying us in to the second half. We'll try to be in top form just like the Lady Warriors. Sun's out, guns out. Have a great afternoon, ladies and Sean. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, guys. All right, thanks. Have a good day, guys. You too, you too man. Sean Mark. Snow and Ontario looking to defend their MOAC championship. Just about everybody back, and you can tell that's a fun, loving group, and that goes so far in spring sports oh, when you have a dugout that's constantly like standing, cheering. It just when you keep everybody involved, you can see it in any sport, basketball, football. It just carries over. They clearly have it. Confidence is everything. And this team, not only they have the players, they have the power. Kind of like Hillsdale. They have players that can get on base, and then they have players that can knock it over the fence and bring them in.